You want to come in and be on camera? I need to put on a shirt first. Putting on a shirt would be a good idea. Although mine is soaked. Welcome back, everybody. We are back out in the boathouse. Uh, it is raining cats and dogs outside. So um, today's the perfect day. I happen to uh, swing by our local hardware store and pick up uh, a couple of sheets of drywall this morning. Um, but first things first, um, we are intending for our house um, to be off grid, but this is going to be our guest house. Um, if you guys haven't seen the previous boathouse episodes, uh, you got to go back and watch those before you get to this one because you won't really know everything that's going on here. But this is a, a 44 foot long um, houseboat that we salvaged. Um, I was actually hired to uh, haul it off of a property and uh, I ended up doing the job for free because I told the guy that I was going to take it and uh, use it for a cabin. And so um, we have gutted it down to the steel hull and uh, we have slowly been rebuilding it um, over the past couple of months. Now I was hoping this would be a little bit faster process but um, once we got in here and really took a good hard look at it it, it needed everything. So the, the beauty of that is that we have been able to insulate our walls because before there was no insulation in here. And so uh, without anything at all, no AC, no fans running, it will stay at least 10 degrees cooler in here. You wanna say hi to everybody? Hi. You wanna say hi to Nana and Pops? Hi Nana and Pops. What do, you, what do you think? You're gonna see them in like a week. Are you excited? Yep, so. These guys are going to be uh, flying out to uh, San Diego next week, and I will be flying solo here on the property by myself. But let me give you a quick, uh, quick no. update on no, what has been. I agree that Caitlin was staying with you. No, Caitlin's not staying here. I'll give you a quick update on what is going on. Um, right here, where Charlotte is sitting, is where a wood stove is going to go. If you watch me uh, put the insulation in, you'll remember that I left this section open right here so that we can put our piping through. So I got the hardy backer up. So I haven't fully encased it. I've got the pieces right here. I just need to install those on the side and the top. And then uh, that thing should be thermal insulated. Number two item on our list of discussion topics for today is that if you uh, have watched the very beginning videos, you'll know that we dug two uh, 40 foot long five foot deep uh, trenches in order to put in an air cooling chamber. So we put one on each side. We put four inch tubes solid in the ground in a loop so that we could recirculate the air inside the boat and cool it at the same time. Um, that system has failed. I will tell you guys right now that the corrugated uh, piping that they use for like leach lines and things like that they say solid wall. Um, it apparently is not totally solid because both of my chambers filled with water. Now, uh, what I ended up doing was I dug them up um, at the very end because they were put on the slope outside, so they were on an incline. Um, so I dug them up at the very bottom and I actually punctured them and let all the water out. And... Uh, then I ran a uh, half inch piece of tubing um, in them and I actually ran them out to daylight. And, uh, but what has happened is it takes a very long time for the water to drain out of those tubes every time that it rains. So essentially I'm losing uh, five or six days on each end. And the other thing that's happening is because the water sits inside those tubes for so long, it's become stagnant now and it is smell e so it was an experiment to see if it works and i think we will uh try and do it again when we uh go to do the uh, barn building and uh and then eventually our house but um we will use a solid piping uh when we do that and by that i mean like a pvc or um like a main line so um, that is the update on that. So you will notice that the pipes are no longer sticking out of the walls here. I've cut them off below the floor and capped them um, so that things can't get in through them. 
um, but we are essentially we're ready to put the walls up so this back bench right here I'm gonna put drywall on the front and then I've got some cherry left over from doing the floors so that top deck step whatever you want to call it is actually also going to be covered in cherry so yeah while it's raining outside um, that's what I'm gonna be working on in here I'm gonna start uh, yeah. hanging the drywall all right I'm gonna get to hang an electrical box oh yeah electrical boxes so this being a guest house a place where we want uh, Nana and Pops and everybody else to come and be comfortable we are going to uh, run electricity over to it um, if you guys have seen our main channel um, we are going to be building a uh, bathhouse slash utility room in a 20-foot C container up there. We already have power on the property, um, so all we need is our local co-op to come out and hook that up um, to our breaker box, basically, or hook up a meter so we can hook up to the breaker box. Um, so we are big fans of off-grid properties. Um, we... we want our place to be 100% off-grid, our house and our shop over there, but uh, we also want this place to be a functional community. And so that being said, we need to be able to do laundry. We need to have a fridge and a freezer for now until we can get our cellar and everything else up. So power is already out here. Why not go ahead and use it? Use what we have, right? Use the resources we already have on hand. So that is, uh, it, as part of that, I am going to uh, run a line. I don't know, I might do it like an RV um, or like, like a boat and uh, just run a, a shoreline, you know, heavy duty, 12 gauge, exterior grade, you know, contractor grade extension cord from that building to this one. But at the very least, you'll be able to have some lights, some fans, um, charge an iPhone, you know, all that good stuff. Well, charge a phone and all that good stuff. So. That is why I am going to be running electricity though. All right guys, so I've got my wire run. Up here is going to be our bed area, you know, the master bedroom. So I've got an outlet put over here for, uh, there'll be like a short countertop over here, uh, but maybe for charging phones or maybe a light, you know, that sort of thing. There's one right inside the door here. Uh, same thing, maybe for a light. Um, there's one right here at the bottom of the step to uh, come in here probably before our built-in couch. I'm going to be building a uh, couch underneath this window with uh, storage in it. And then uh, this area right here where these two studs are um, is the wall that goes across here. Um, and these will be our double bunks. So there will be a bunk bed on this side split in the window. Um, but there's an outlet on the bottom and I need to still put this one in up top, but over here I've already done it. There's one on top, one on bottom there, and uh, that'll be for a little reading light and a fan maybe for in there. So yeah, uh, electricity is just about done. Like I said, I just noticed that I need to uh, put in this upper bunk outlet, um, so I will, uh, I will get that in there and then uh, I can start hanging up drywall all right guys sun is going down but uh, I got this front section up here all done um, that pass-through area there is just gonna have some sort of curtain or something up there um, to let light in you know during the day so but uh, we are gonna sweep up real quick and uh, and head home so um, I will see you guys in like five seconds though, so. all right? All right guys, pretty exciting stuff. Did you catch her? Not yet. We just saw, uh, oh, I need to build a step there. But look how much difference. Having drywall up makes and look I got the wood stove in here there's where our wood stove is gonna sit oh, I'm pretty stoked and uh, I'm gonna start taping and mudding all right guys so thank you for going along with us I hope you enjoyed this episode of the boathouse and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, want to see how this thing turns out um, I'm pretty excited we've got a lot of really cool 
projects that are going to be going on in here. We've got the sawmill up and running up there. We're going to be uh, putting some live edge uh, mantles and, uh, and uh, you know, shelving and different things in here. So, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, may Yahuwah bless you, and we will see you on the next episode.